Hello guys and welcome to my second video on the Wi-Fi Anyone Fixture Profile Creator. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a fixture profile from scratch. Now I'm going to be building a profile for a simple scanner, the Smart Scan 2. It's a six channel fixture with simple pan, tilt, shutter, color, gobo and control channels. Make sure you go watch my first video where I show you the layout of the fixture profile creation software. You can watch that video by clicking on the link in the description below or the annotation on screen. So let's get started. So to get a look at all the different DMX channels, take a look at your instruction manual for your fixture and it'll usually tell you what each channel does and then give you the values between 0 and 255 to tell you what each color or gobo slot actually corresponds to in terms of a DMX control value. First of all, we need to give the fixture a name, SSC2. So in my manual for my Smart Scan 2 here, I can see that the fixture has six different DMX channels. And it's really simple. First channel is pan. We can see here it's automatically labeled to pan and it's given it the default value, which is at 50%, which is what I want. I can also add a tilt channel. Next up, we have our shutter channel. Scroll down to shutter slash strobe. And then we can add a color channel and a gobo channel. And then our sixth channel here is a control channel. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to be a show channel. And I'll show you why a bit later on. So we've got all the different labels here automatically put in, but I can customize them if I like. And I'm happy with the default values I've got here. However, with the shutter and strobe, I'm going to go ahead here into the more advanced menu, which allows us to set our strobing value for the fixture. Now, if I look in the manual here, I can see that between value 0 and 7 on the shutter channel is flashing stopped. And then from 8 to 255 is adjustment of flashing speed from half a frame per second to 8 frames per second. So the minimum value I want is 8, which is the lowest shutter speed for strobing. And then the maximum here is 255. And then I go ahead and click yes, and we've set up the shutter value for our fixture. Now we're going to go ahead to the next tab. We don't have any color mixing on this fixture. However, we do have a color wheel. We can go ahead and see we've got our green channel here for our color channel. And in the manual here, we can see as well the different values for all of our color channel. We can see here 0 to 15 is white, and then 16 to 31 is sea blue, and so on. Now, the instruction manual is giving me a range of values, but all I need to do is pick a value somewhere between those two numbers. So for white, I'm just going to pick 10. And the next color here, I need a value between 16 and 31. So I'm just going to put in 25. Somewhere in the middle, I find is best. So now go ahead and input all of the rest of the values for all the other different colors. So now we've assigned the first 12 color buttons to all the different colors on the color wheel in the fixture. Now we can see in the manual here, it says between values 192 to 255 is the color wheel turning from slow to fast. So what I'm going to do here is create a couple of different color buttons that will have different speeds for the color wheel scrolling. So the slowest speed here is 192. And then let's go for 210, uh, 230, and 255. So I've now got four different buttons on the second page, which will allow me to change different speeds of the color wheel. So by putting in all the values here, we've told the anyone what particular color values for the different slots on the color wheel correspond to which different color buttons on the anyone. So that's done. We don't need to add any more colors down here. I can go ahead across to the Gobo Show section. And here under our Gobo channel, I repeat the process again, but this time with the Gobo. Now here we can see that the Gobo value 0 to 15 is the beam close, which is not what we want. So we're going to start with our first value being between 16 and 31. So let's start adding in the numbers. And at the end of the Gobo channel, we've also got a similar thing to the color wheel, where the Gobo wheel turns from slow to fast. So I'm just going to go ahead again and put in some different values for different speeds. So now we've assigned all of our different Gobo slots to the Gobo buttons on the any one. Finally, here we have our show channel. Now my fixture doesn't actually have any built-in color macros or built-in shows. However, there is a control channel on the fixture which allows me to remotely reset the fixture or lamp on and lamp off the light. So I'm in the show tab here, going to add four different buttons that allow me at the end of the night to just go ahead and lamp off the fixture remotely without me needing to use the display. So now using the show buttons, I can remotely lamp on and lamp off the fixture. But if your particular light has, say, color macros or different built-in shows that you can control over DMX, you can go ahead and add in the values for those under the show channel. So that's it. We've now created the fixture profile for the Smart Scan 2. There's nothing else we need to do here. So what I'm going to do now is press the Save button. 
and I can save a profile here. Where I recommend doing it is the fixture name, a dash, and then the number of channels that that profile uses. And the reason I do this is if I've got a lighting fixture that has multiple different modes with multiple channel counts, I can make sure I know which one's which. So now I can go ahead and import that fixture profile onto the Any1. Make sure you check out my other tutorial on patching, which will go through the process of how you can import fixture profiles onto the Any1. Now, if you're having any problems at all, or simply want to see if someone else has already made a fixture profile for your particular light, head over onto the Any1 Facebook group. There are loads of different DJs on there who are using the Any1 regularly and creating lots of different fixture profiles. And there's also the guys from American DJ on the group, and they're answering questions and helping you with anything you need on the Any1. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.